Hey, hey, everybody. How you doing? It is Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. So as many of us are receiving upgrades and activations through lights, light codes, through symbols, we're also receiving activations to our our data of memory, which some will refer to as the Akashic Records, the Hall of Records. And those are things that we're here to actually release all of it. So it doesn't always have to make sense. So as I said in another video, I was experiencing some remote viewing. And I knew that it was the Akashic Records just walking me through and I didn't need to make sense of it unless they needed to show me more. So just having it be activated, seeing and acknowledging it can be transmitted and released. So yesterday as I tuned in more with my pendulum and just with myself and asking to be a better service, I um, it was on a Zoom call with a handful of people masterminding about our next steps in business and so on. When a lot of the symbols I see became very clear and floating around my room, they were faces, they were squares, they were squares with faces in them, they were color, all kinds of things. Nothing abnormal, it was just more vivid this time. And then as I looked at my computer and was looking at the people talking, there was part of my computer I could see my facial reflection in. And it was called to attention to it. And when I did, I started seeing the beings and the symbols around my head touching my cheek, etc. And then as I was glanced back at myself, I saw my face morph into many different faces and shape, but I still knew it was me. My hair color might change, a little bit of the eye shape might change, the nose might alter just a hair, may have a beard, I may have been very old, I may have been very indigenous, I may have looked very ET-ish. But the whole time that that was going on, it was like I was watching an animated movie as my face began to change. And my feelings at first were to ask a question were the guides coming in and putting themselves in my face or around my face so that I could see them. And then I got, no, this is your many faces of many lifetimes. So of course, the whole time I'm looking at that, my screen here has, has my group on it and I'm semi hearing some of what they're saying, but the whole time I'm just softening into my breath and just watching this all unfold, so to speak. And I'd look around the room and I would just see so many symbols and orbs and lights and beings that were just crystal clear. And when it came time for me to speak on my Zoom, I knew that I had a supportive group and I could say what was happening. And of course, someone in the group said, you know, you're being shown a lot of your Akashic. And I'm like, yes, I do. So we ended the call about an hour and I just, I had to go right to the bathroom and wash my mascara off, take my contacts out, crawl right into bed. 
because I felt a lot of pressure on the back of my neck, I felt a little woo-hoo in the head, I actually felt a little nauseous, and um, I had a little heart palpitations. So I knew what was happening. So I knew to breathe into it, and I knew just to go lay down and take out any exterior sensories, phone, lights, etc., to shut them off. So I tossed for a while, snap, crackle, pop, as some more of these symbols were just showing themselves and a lot of sparkles and flashes in the room, and so on. So at some point I must have dozed off because when I opened my eyes, I just would have this shape, this symbol that was moving right above my head, right above my face. So I could see it very clearly. But I would just close my eyes and turn back over to the other side, doze off, and I'd wake up and there would be a different symbol, different movement in front of my face. And this went on all night long. And at one point, when I was laying on my back, I saw it, I saw this one particular symbol. I rolled over to my side, I closed my eyes, and then opened my eyes again, and there it was. And it was this spirally interesting shape. Now I don't, I don't know or could identify everything as geometry or sacred geometry. I'm just not skilled in a lot of that. Now I've seen a lot in my dream states or meditative states where I feel like I'm looking at hieroglyphics in the air or I'm in a cave and I'm looking at it. But things happen at such rapid speed, my mind can't keep up with it. It wants to it wants to go in reverse and go in slow-mo and see each one. But I've learned to understand that that's not what my guides are doing. What they're doing is they're, they're just bringing up memory. Beep, 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 just memory, 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 memory. And it isn't for me to sit here and try to dissect. So when I, you surrender to that, which I have surrendered completely and surrendering has been, um, it's been um, layers of really learning to surrender. And just to let it all go and just to trust that you are where you're supposed to be seeing and hearing and feeling and uploading, downloading, side loading, loading, releasing, and you're okay. You're, you're truly okay. It takes a little while before you get comfortable with um, feeling like you're kind of mastering it, right? Now, I am being told um, this interstellar group of beings that are now working with me will give me a lot more information and reveal themselves and they should have um, be expecting much bigger awakening this weekend. So I'm not anticipating it and I'm not nervous about it and I'm not like overly excited. I'm in this just calm space of like, okay, these are the things I've been asking for. And it's best that I just keep in tune with my breath and retune my breath so that my body can stay in a more relaxed and receiving way so that my transmitter isn't uh, all locked up. So this has taken me several decades to get here. And then it's taken me probably three full years after, almost four, after literally cancel, delete all of what I've been taught and learning everything new. So I never assume what galactic or angelics are working with me until they tell me. 
I don't know. I can just call them a, you know, a light body, body, um, you know, of the Holy Mother, Holy Father. That's all I can say until they tell me, until they tell me. Now I know that my twin is on the other side in charge of my spiritual development. It's what we agreed on. I see him all the time and he's got a couple beings on his shoulder. So I always recognize him. And that took me a full year to know when he's coming from way far by his silhouette or movement or feeling that I get. So this has taken, you know, a lot of homework. And the homework really is to just stop, drop, sit, connect with your breath and truly, truly be in the very instant of the millisecond that you've been placed in and not to overthink it, not to overfocus your eyes, not to um, think with that linear, that stuff that we've been, we've been taught and learned as a human to let it expand out in a different way. So many of you might start seeing or have been seeing possibly a flash of a color or a spark or um, see a square or um, a formation of dots in different colors that may appear and they may flash or they just might appear and then they'll move around and then disappear and you can see them eyes wide open and eyes closed which is how I see this the contrast is a little different when my eyes are closed and sometimes I have to close them because my contacts get very dry and usually you know I mean I don't have to be like looking or in this space I just I just know when to open and when to close so be easy with yourself stay hydrated ask your body what it needs to support all of this energetic activity and codes that are coming in and filtering through you get out there and enjoy the sun and the trees and just let information come up um and just make it like just a learning adventure exploring learning adventure you know it's magical it's truly magical and of course, my link will be in the description to my website, my contact information. But in the meantime, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe and share and leave me a comment. I love them. All right. And um, be one with all of it. Join, join it because you're already one with it, but acknowledge it, surrender, join. And um, Watch the pathways open up. All right. Bye.